Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to customise your mouse. In this case I'm going to be using the Daffodil wireless mouse which you can pick up cheaply on eBay or Amazon. We're also going to need some 3M Dynock carbon fibre wrap. You can use any vinyl wrap and also handy X-Acto knife. So to start with, oh you're also going to need um, screwdrivers, some nice ones like this, which you can pick up from most hardware stores, are very handy. So to start with you're going to want to flip your mouse over, in this case to take off the battery compartment and flick out the batteries, and then you need a fl uh, Phillips head screwdriver and you can see there's two screws in the bottom here which we're going to need to take out. Once these are out, the top just lifts off. You have your circuit board here and the main shell here. You don't want to do anything with this, so just put it to one side. Um, so now we've got the main plastic body and we only want to wrap this grey part, so we're going to have to remove that from the rest of it. To do that we've got two tabs up front on the actual mouse buttons and two tabs here and here and a tab at the back and this is fairly tricky but you just want to push them out and it should just pull off like so. So next we're going to want to measure out the die knock so if you just get your roll and unroll it a bit and place the mouse over it. We're on a bit on a bit of overlap all round um, so you can get a nice clean job and then you're gonna to want to cut down onto something so that you don't damage um, your surface and making sure that you leave plenty of space around it. Just gonna make a nice cut. You don't need to apply too much pressure for this. So you're going to want to leave between a centimetre and two centimetres all the way round um, just to give you space to work with. I haven't quite cut through that, so I'll just get back over it. Okay, there we go. We have our die knock cut and we can see that that fits That's nicely. As you can see, if we try wrap this around it at the moment we're going to get all these folds and stuff. It's not going to follow the contours nicely. So next you're either going to need to grab yourself a heat gun or a hairdryer. I'm going to be using a hairdryer um, but a heat gun is preferable if you have one. Okay now that we've got ourselves a hairdryer we're going to want to take um, the backing off of the Dynock. <coughs> Peels off nice and easily. Just place that down like so. You want to get your mouse square on so that the carbon fibre runs nicely diagonally across the mouse. This um, just peels off easily so you can take your time with this. Oops, make sure you can see that. As we can see, that doesn't follow the shape very easily, but we've got it sort of meanly in place now. And flip that over, make sure you don't stick it to your surface. Fire up your hairdryer. And then you can just stretch it over, ironing out all of the crinkles. And we'll go back and add some more heat in a second. I'm going to just add a cut down the middle here between the two um, mouse buttons just to make this process easier. It wasn't the straightest cut in the world, but oh well, okay. Got ourselves a bit of a wrinkle here, just stretch it out and that should 
disappear nicely. You just want to keep moulding it to the shape of the mouse. Just making sure that it's all looking neat. You can see that we haven't got it down this end very well yet. Um, so we'll just give that another go with the heat. Just going to tuck it under. We're not actually going to tuck it under. This is just so that we can um, see the outline of the mouse and see what needs working on. So it's following that curve pretty nicely now. Got it right down to the bottom here. So now we're going to go in with the exacto knife and make some more cuts. So you're going to want to flip it over and get your protective surface back out again, and your exacto knife, and just sort of roughly trace around the outside of the mouse, still leaving a bit of space for working. And then it'll be back out with the hairdryer. Okay, now we're going to heat it back up again and really just try to sort out those edges. So now, after a bit of um, just trimming and tidying up with the exacto knife, uh, this is what it should look like. So we're now going to replace it onto the main body. So you just put it in place like so. And it all just snaps back in. That looks pretty sweet. And then just pop that onto there. Flip it over, find your screws from earlier. Um, a magnetic screwdriver is good for this. As it just helps to get into those deep spaces down the bottom there. Take too much to screw those in. They go on pretty nicely. And then put the batteries in, and you're good to go. Uh, as I said, this is on just a cheapo mouse, but you can do this mod on any mouse pretty much. You just have to be able to take off the piece that you want to do. Um, but it's always good to practice on something cheap first. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Thanks.